Hello everybody, welcome back to my gaming review. I was going to take a nap, but I wanted to make a video real quick about the PS4 Pro. Um, because I made my video on how I cleaned the heatsink on it. And how I, uh, you know, basically, you know, cleaned up the heatsink and made it very quiet. But my thermal, my thermal paste was kind of dry. So I actually got some thermal paste from Amazon, which was five bucks for thermal paste. And I took this thing apart again. And I put thermal paste in it, new, brand new thermal paste. I covered the whole, um, what you call it, the little chip, the CPU. And now this thing is amazingly quiet. Um, it doesn't even make a sound anymore. You feel cool air coming out these vents, hot air in the back the way it's supposed to be. And I'm just really happy because um, I was able to... This is my first PS4 system I've actually taken apart multiple times, and now it's the first PS4 console that I've actually um, repasted, which was actually really simple, duper easy. And the cool thing with Sony is that they make their consoles, in my opinion, easier than Xbox. Um, when I took apart my Xbox One, well, I didn't really take my take my Xbox One apart fully. Um, I only took my Xbox One apart to the hard drive, but I haven't even been to the motherboard on the Xbox One. Because Microsoft, I think Microsoft makes it a little more difficult to actually access everything on the inside. But PS4, <clears throat> the PS4 Pro was actually pretty fun, and it was pretty chill. And once you know exactly what to do, it becomes easier, it becomes, um, you know, super easy, and, you know, I'll have to wait five or seven years to repaste it again, but I'm really happy because I was able to repaste this thing and clean out all the dust and all the stuff that was inside. I got this from, you know, of course I got this from GameStop a year ago, and, um... You know, GameStop doesn't do anything with these. It's it's a used PS4. And when I got it, it was like pre-owned PS4. GameStop didn't even put it in a PlayStation 4 box. They put it in an Xbox box. Which is really stupid. And, you know, um, GameStop was like, oh yeah, this should work fine. It's like perfectly good condition. And you have like freaking, you know, scratch marks right here. I don't know if you can see that, but there's like a scratch mark right here. There's a little mock um, over here somewhere, and it wasn't really in the best of condition. Um, but I wanted to have a PS4 Pro, and obviously this thing was very loud. The fan went to very high speeds. Of course, then it became my sister's PS4 Pro, and then I got the Slim. She hated the sound of it, and then I was like, you know what? I'm going to completely fix this. I'm going to give my sister a PS4 Slim. I'll completely fix this. So now it has brand new paste. Heat sink is clean. This thing is super duper quiet. Uh, but anyway, I, wanna, I just want to make a quick video on the PS4 Pro. I have finished the refurbishment of the console. Technically now I can say I actually refurbished it. Um, but, um, yep. I am good to go now and this ps4 pro right here is happy as can be and it's you know it sounds like it's brand new now it no longer makes that jet engine sound now it just walks and yeah i'm really happy about being able to do this because um being able to fix your own consoles and being able to actually replace them do maintenance on them that's really important to me and, you know, if I wait five, seven years in the future, when the pace is dry, I can just do it all over again. And this thing would be good as new again. Anyway, I'm in the videos. So hope everyone enjoys. Leave a like. And comment down below if you ever have repasted a game console before. Either a PS4, PS3, any of them. And this is my second time actually uh, repasting a game console. Because the PS3 Super Slim was the first game system I ever, I ever actually took apart to the motherboard and actually put new thermal paste in. And now this console right here was my second console that I took fully apart, re-thermal pasted it, and cleaned out all the dust and garbage that was inside. So, refurbishment complete. PS4 Pro in amazing condition. 
no longer has jet engine, and it runs like it's brand new. Might as well be brand new now. Uh, what I want to do in the future, though, is I want to replace the power supply. Um, not really sure why I want to do that, but because it's a used console, you know, I just want to, I just want to like replace parts on it, um, and then I want to get a new top shell. But I do like that I, I put my PlayStation Four controllers on my um, top cover, but eventually I'll probably replace this top shell so it has a brand new top shell. And yeah, but anyway, I'm in the video, so peace out. This has been PS4 Pro. That I refurbished. Oh yeah. Yeah.